this just in a few hours ago. SpaceX is to crash the Falcon 9 rocket into the moon after it runs out of fuel. Our poor moon is going to become a pollution area. Is this what's going to be happening now? Anything that we don't need, we just trash into the moon? There should be laws against this. Anyway, SpaceX launched its first deep space mission February 2015. The uncrewed Falcon 9 transported the refrigerator-sized deep space climate observatory into the void of space, but because it does not have enough fuel to return to Earth and land on a floating platform as planned, the rocket will instead be plowed into the moon. In a first, a SpaceX rocket that has been navigating deep space since 2015 expected to be crash landed on the moon in uh, on March 4th. So the Falcon 9 second stage is about four metric tons and it should impact the moon at an expected velocity of about 2.58 kilometers per second. Bill Gray, the creator of the guide astrometry software said that after its February perigree, the point in the orbit of the moon or a satellite at which it's nearest to the earth, Falcon 9 will travel, quote, to a point almost twice as far away as the moon, end quote, before pausing and returning to crash into the far side of the moon. Gray said, with all the data, we've got a certain impact at 2022 March 4th at 1225.39 latitude plus 493 east longitude 233.20 plus or minus a few seconds and a few kilometers, he said. Professional and amateur astronomers use Gray Guide astrometry software to track near-Earth objects, asteroids, minor planets, and comets. So it's the world's first space junk cleaner satellite successfully picking up orbital debris. Uh, now, Sky Observer, well, you know, we've got uh, space junk around the Earth's atmosphere. Now we're going to be making the moon our... our uh, what is it? Dumping ground? Now, sky observers say that they would like to determine the impact location as precisely as possible so that NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and Indian Space Research Organization, Chandrayana-2, can find the crater and photograph this. Gray said, if we can tell the LRO and or Chandrayaan folks exactly where the crater is, They'll eventually pass over that spot and be able to see a very fresh impact crater and probably learn something about geology. Well, selenology, seleni meaning is the Greek word for moon, uh, of that part of the moon. Scientists have been observing the moon's surface to understand the presence of ice at the lunar poles for a long time. The Falcon 9 rocket strike could provide some valuable data about the subsurface material of the moon, Gray says. SpaceX launched the rocket February 2015 and placed the Deep Space Climate Observatory DSCOVR satellite at the Sun-Earth L1 Lagrandian point, which is about one and a half million kilometers away from our Earth. So that's what will be happening. Um, I don't know what the other space agencies are going to say about this. I mean, are, they, are other countries of the world okay with this? You're going to be trashing things onto the moon. This is by Rishikesh Kumar on Sputnik. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.